As the Democratic National Convention prepares to nominate Hillary Clinton and unify the Democratic Party, its leader announces her resignation. Debbie Wasserman Schultz says she's stepping down as DNC chair following an embarrassing email leak showing the party worked against Bernie Sanders' campaign. Now, the DNC's role is to remain neutral in the primary process. She says the 20,000 emails released by WikiLeaks is taking away from Clinton's moment as she must step down for the party to move forward. CCTV Sean Calebs is in Philadelphia, where the convention will start on Monday. The stage is set here in Philadelphia for the 2016 Democratic National Convention. Behind me, you can see the stage where the speakers will, of course, be front and center beginning on Monday. And the various areas where the delegates will fan out across the arena have also been spelled out. And the legions of media from around the world are getting in place, getting ready to cover what the Democrats hope will be a week characterized by unity and togetherness, a sharp contrast, they hope, from the divisiveness that characterized the GOP National Convention in Cleveland just last week. However, off to a rough start today. There were a number of supporters who marched in downtown Philadelphia, critical of what they say is a platform by the DNC that is not progressive enough. Specifically, they're frustrated with fracking. They want to stop the controversial method of squeezing more oil out of the earth and want the Democrats to focus on clean energy. But even more so, an embarrassing group of thousands and thousands of emails that have been leaked that show the Democratic National Committee apparently working in unison with Hillary Clinton's campaign against Bernie Sanders. For his part, Sanders says he is not shocked by this, but he is disappointed. Now, for his part, Sanders is telling his supporters to rally behind Hillary Clinton. He threw his support to Clinton last week. He says that his supporters should really focus their attention on defeating Donald Trump. But it's too early to say if that is going to happen. His supporters are very passionate. And the unknown wild card, what will happen here on Monday? Will his supporters be very frustrated and disappointed by the information that came out in the leaks? Will they hold protests and demonstrations? And will that threaten the unity here at the 2016 convention? Or will they be able to somehow bring them into the fold, patch things up, and move on without a huge disruption? Sean Caleb, CCTV in Philadelphia.